So look at this. I mean, you've got you're just chilling out here with a couple like few level twelve bits, no jewelry, and you're doing it in zero turns. Earbuds, um, Mr. Free to Play. Yeah, we've had him on a couple of times before because he's somebody who massively impresses me in this game. <laughs> Even before I get him on. What is this? 53 sacreds just sitting there. Let's get him on to find out what the hell is going on with that. This is the main the main kind of point of today. So you've been pushing the rankings. Um, I have. And this, don't forget guys, fully free to play player here. And on the global rankings, currently sitting in seventh place for turns taken on Doom Tower. Now, let's just be honest, not everyone goes hard on this. But this is nuts. This is actually, when you see some of the things that he does, <laughs> even though I was like, how the hell is that possible that you're doing that in that fewer turns? Um, so I guess you want to show us off, show off some of these teams, right? Yeah, I mean, so... You can go through each of the bosses on the actual Doom Tower screen and see how I'm ranking across the whole. And I've given you the four videos of the runs for those particular bosses. Um, so on, on um, I am somewhere in there. <laughs> I think I'm 39 turns, so I'm a little bit lower. Okay. In, unless you have uh, Poison oh, Explosion yeah. or Elinar Rule. It's very difficult to get below around 39 turns. If you, I don't think you'll find any team above me that's using, doesn't have one of those two. So the real quick ones are basically exploding. Look at this free Calvalax. Um, exploding poisons. On wave one and two. So yeah. on waves one and two, you have uh, a Tormin. So you need to block revive the Tormin, and okay. poison explosion with three Calvalax and Xavier. That's one turn to kill them all. Xavier will be in a refresh accessory. So that's a second turn to kill wave two, because you will just rerun it until you proc it. Yeah. You'll then have all of them die to the boss, except for Drexar, and Drexar will have 13 turns to take down the boss. And Drexar is just what built super slow? most likely extremely slow in either lifesteal or regen and you're just whenever you will take a turn he'll be targeting one of the two side ads to get as much hp burn coverage as possible right. and you're just looking to get it get him killed in as few turns as possible and so what are you doing then because your team's very different to that my team's different because i don't have <laughs> any kind don't of have an exploder. explosion so <laughs> I, I brought in romantu because I needed to negate the passives of Tormins. So that's my effective block revive there. So you're the only one using Romantu here? Yeah. Interesting. Because yeah, everyone cool. else is using Poison Explosion. Look, everyone even below me pretty yeah, much. True, actually, yeah, true, actually, yeah. Just... <laughs> and I think there's someone using an Aneath way as well, another block revive. Um, or the, there's one oh. guy there using two nukers, so you're kind yeah. of covering, you nuke once, they revive, you nuke again. So what sure. I did is, is and I have actually got the video on this one, is Romantu's in a shield set, because I didn't have enough buffs otherwise. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lydia's got a blood shield accessory, because I needed the extra buff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so like... And then you're goes using first, Romantu to blocks the passives, block passives and Lydia yeah. goes, drop defense weaken, then Seer goes uh, and, and kills the wave. Kaimar's actually fastest, but kind of irrelevant. Kaimar reset, yeah. Kaimar resets, rinse and repeat, then get through to the boss. My team did take slightly longer to die than I would like, but I didn't want to just keep ripping more and more gear off because it's so silver expensive. I spent so much silver doing this dude. <laughs> <thing. laughs> I bet. And, and then, like, how many how many goes are you having to try and get to your records here? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Like, how um, how much how much time are you spending per boss? Because even beating a boss can be annoying, right? How much time are you spending per boss rerunning it, tweaking, trying to just squeeze one turn less? Hours. <laughs> many I hours. I bet. Because <laughs> I I didn't know how what the straps were. There aren't any yeah. videos on it. 
the clans that tend to push it don't really share the strats or explain it. So I had to kind of figure it out. You can see some of the teams that, that have done it, and then you can maybe try and work out understand the, what the they ideas. were doing. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then it was a case of kind of looking at my account, what could I do, and just run it, figure out what might make it work quicker, and then just keep redoing it. And, and because I've never dabbled in this at all, right? So taking a turn, is that every champion that does something counts as a turn? Every time you click a skill, it's a yeah. turn. So if you're provoked, you're not clicking. It doesn't count. If you're yeah, so that, that passive, kind of comes to something you showed me the other day when I was just yeah. like, how is this possible? Um, if you're triggering a passive, like at the start of a battle, that doesn't count as a turn. You know, so like Chris putting his shield up isn't a yeah. turn. Cavalax putting his poisons out is not a turn. But everything else is a turn. Even if you're feared and you skip your turn, that's still oh, really? a turn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look at this Frost Spider. So Frostbiter, you're using the block passives to deal with Torment, so they're not reviving. And then basically you're resetting. It's a, seer, it's a, it's a classic Seer combo. So Romantic yeah. and Frozen was fine. That didn't matter. Ah, because we had a Lydia, yeah. Because okay. we've got the Lydia to block that revive. And you've got people here built to die, in effect. So that yeah. just Drex stays alive. And and this is where I could have got the turns less if I had completely wrecked my Lydia build Can we get more it? and my Kaimar build, but I used both of them in TTA. So like I didn't I didn't want to strip even more gear off them so they would die quicker. Yeah. In fact Romanto I use in TTA as well. So you've got so many champions here that I use in arena. So your ideal would have been that these all of these were dead already. Exactly. And you would have saved yourself a couple of so turns in effect. Yeah. Now. And oh, so you're you're aiming for the spiderlings to put more burns out. Exactly. The more burns you have, the quicker the main spider will die. Um, the right spider will cleanse the main spider. So you do just keep an eye on the um turn meters of of the diff of the three enemies and make sure that you're directing your hp burns in such a way that you will always get um procs so you won't lose any of your turns they won't be wasted because if you go and you just put an hp burn on the main spider just before the right spiderling takes a turn then he'll just cleanse it so it's it's a waste of your turn yeah and the freeze there does that count as a turn or because you didn't use a skill no turn I'm not sure on the, whether you're, when you're frozen, to be honest. It's, I didn't actually count it manually to check. But I, I, would, I would think that it wouldn't count as a turn. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it should if you're not physically pressing a button. Um, that's nuts. Okay, so basically it's just spreading the HP burns as, as well as you can. I guess yeah. so in that sense then... Would an AoE HP burner not be better than this guy? Well, that's why LNR rules the best, because it's irresistible on A1. Yeah. So you, you just literally pepper spray it. You don't need to worry about your accuracy. You can just bring the survivability you need. Like You do need quite a lot of resistance, because you need to be able to resist most of the debuffs. Yeah. It's actually quite a difficult build um, to do. Yeah, it's a shame. Um, Grappy's saying I don't really get the whole minimum turns thing. And I don't, honestly. But because they don't, again, it's, it's a bit like anything, they don't reward it. And if they've put it into their game as, as something which is cool and, and people should go for it, I don't know why they don't reward it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me that they wouldn't put something against it to be like, you know what, this is the person who's won. You, you would think that, you know, if you got below a certain number of turns, you'd maybe get an avatar or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly that. Okay, let's let's work through the next one. Um, so, magma dragon. Is this is this your best team, or is that just? A... <laughs> no, that is that is my best team. Uh, 
<laughs> so number 17, 44 turns. Um, so I guess you've got... Well, talk us through it. Talk us through what you're doing. <laughs> so uh, the Oris wave clear um, pretty much doesn't quite one-shot the waves, my Doris, just comes slightly short. So I end up doing two turns for each of the waves. Yeah. And then, like, I don't have a Draco. I don't have any of the, um, like, Xavier. So it's Poison or... Explosion again by the most of these teams here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah like, they're just going to ramp up a load of Poison on on the actual uh, Magma Dragon who, you know, you can't TM control, you you can't HP burn, so poison's your next best thing. Yeah. I don't have those champions, but I do have max HP nukers who can yeah. do 10% each. So what I'm trying to do there <laughs> is uh, that's I've not got both Royal Guard and Cold Heart <laughs> in reflex. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I put that cold heart in three refresh accessories, and it was just like that's just. So this is just an just RNG <laughs> fest. It's literally like RNG fest. Why? Why Creela then? What's Creela in the mix for? So she like helped. That. Yeah, basically, just um, it gives me more chance to get keep the decreased defense on the magma, uh, oh, magma okay. boss because I don't have good accuracy on Lioris, and um. You know, Royal Guard's not 100% on the A1 either, so... So, on the waves of Magma Dragon, you are blowing it up with Leorius. Yeah, uh, but like I said, I don't quite, if I remember correctly, doesn't quite have enough damage. No, so that's Krila where Krila comes in. cleans up. And actually, because you just because you didn't kill Wave 2, you just start again. But, no. <laughs> I thought I'd trimmed it enough, but I hadn't. <laughs> There uh, you gotta do it again. <laughs> That's what it's like. Skip and is this just you need five Helm Smasher proxy? Is that what you're waiting on? F pretty much. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. I just I, I just need one I just need that Duchess to be the only one alive. Right. Because then Freela can go <laughs> in and she did it. Oh, it. I Loads thought I trimmed time. the video before I sent it to you, but evidently I failed <laughs> in the trimming. This is the reality. Right, now we're seeing the reality, <laughs> guys. This is the reality of what um, Ibad's been doing for the last month. Yeah, didn't work. Again. <laughs> 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 How many I, I'm ready to pause it. Here you right, go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get onto the bus. <laughs> And that's Brilliant. what it's like. That is exactly what doing this is like. There you go. Now it's, we got only one alive. Only one was in. left. Yeah. <laughs> <Day one. sighs> so you get your ally attack, attack so now. drop defense. So we get the drop defense so Royal Guard's able to go straight in with his A2. Yeah. And then you're hoping for basically refresh from your reflex accessories or the um yeah you got a reduced cooldown there so or the um what's it the chance of it not going yeah. on cooldown at all yeah so i've got refresh accessories on the cold heart and both cold heart and royal guard are in reflex yeah yeah why wouldn't you go for a, a four hitter there on a royal guard because Just he's because in you want reflex. The drop defense it's not that. It's because it's in reflex, so you only. Oh, want you don't want to use that skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be cool down, so he gets back to it faster. So you only ever want to use one ability because he cool it down quicker. Yeah, yeah. So the reason I didn't run this more times to get better RNG on the boss, you've just seen, because the waves are horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> if you get there right, you're just hoping for. So you got a decreased cooldown there. So that, does that mean she just comes back with it straight away? Exactly, straight away. Yeah. And basically, it's now relying on those two to do all of the, the work with their 10%, because the other hits are not really doing much, are they? Yeah, completely. And I know, um, so we're showing the bosses here. But I'd imagine a lot of the waves are... It's almost like they're all their own boss level, are they? 
because you're, you're trying to, to do extent, turns like, everywhere. Yeah, so the main one, you're really just seer bombing, and you're just rerunning it until Kaima gets a refresh proc, so one Kaima okay. can reset twice. And that, that gets you 12 turns for everything that doesn't have a problematic um, enemy, such as Tormin. And then on those kind of Tormin waves, you're bringing in Romantu. And again, you're yeah. rerunning it until Kaimar gets a refresh proc, and then you but, do 15 turns instead. So, but early on, so you are taking... Tw oh, okay, so you are taking the same sort of turns. I thought people were using, like, Baron to do no uh, turns. I mean, like Baron, people only can only do that in normal. Otherwise, you can go lower right. if you have Cal Calvalax. Like that's the reality. You can poison and explode in yeah. less turns than twelve, but you can't see a bomb in less than twelve. Twelve's the le least you 12 can do with as good as it gets. So you're joint yeah. basically with everyone else here, all the way across hard. Yeah, and, it, and if you check global, you'll just see the people less will have Calvalax, right. probably two or three of them. Because then you just have Xavier goes, kills, Kaima resets, Xavier, yeah. etc. So we know what's going on with Scarab. Scarab is a Eurost best. With yeah. Why buy Stoffers here? So on my build for Eurost, I needed the accuracy lead. And that best Stoffers will die in the very first hit. So he never plays? He never plays. He just walks in and gets killed. Right, okay. And then uh, let me see this build here. So you've got a 100 speed Eurost. So you're 100% just relying on the passive, him getting provoked so that he doesn't take any turns on the final boss. But he needs to take no turns on all the waves. So you, I originally tried it with Eurost at his base speed. Um, but he is actually a fraction too slow on his base speed. Because what ends up happening is the, the final boss will take three turns to your one turn. But if you're at 94 speed, every, I think it's like fourth cycle, the boss will take four turns. Right. And that messes up the skill rotation. And you'll end up failing effectively. Because uh, the boss, if you are at the right sync, the boss will do his... Um, his his basic attack twice and then the buff strip. Yeah. And if you let that cycle change, it it will break and you won't be able to get minimum turns. Oh, okay. So, but you are you ever you never in any danger of dying here? Uh, you you can if you get bad RNG, you can't die. Like yeah, because the way you have to do it is you have to have minimum amount of stats such that the boss in those two hits breaks your shield. He has to break your shield in those two hits. So if you have any more survivability than I have here, you won't get your shield broken consistently, at which point you won't get provoked. So it took me a long time to work out how what that level of stats needed that you survive because also the boss can't kill you too quickly. Yeah. Once you get below a, uh, an HP threshold, the boss will actually change his AI and change his own skill order, which will also oh, really? wreck you. <laughs> so you so need look at no this. resistance. I mean, you've got, you're just chilling out here with a couple, like few level 12 bits, <laughs> no jewelry. Hope everyone's having a great day. And you're doing it in zero turns. <laughs> exactly. It's so, so here, nuts, isn't it? It doesn't make any sense. It's crazy, um, isn't it? <laughs> I spent so much silver ripping gear off him and trying to find worse gear to put on. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what's going on. So this is right at the start. So basically, all they're doing is they're going to hit you, pile up poisons. Oh, because you get provoked from these guys as well. So Yeah, the war chiefs provoke you. So yeah. this particular run is, is a, a one-turn run. I don't have a recording of the zero. And it's, okay. I've tried redoing it, and it's... Uh, you need such exquisite RNG to get the zero. Yeah. And it's basically on this first wave because what you happens. You can't in resist the first any wave, of these kind of provokes just because that will mess you up. Yeah, you can't have any resistance at all because otherwise, like you say, you'll, you'll get ruined uh, throughout the fight. But the problem with wave one is the war chiefs are the ones that provoke you. 
but they also tend to be the ones that die fastest. They're dying they, quicker, yeah. They have a triple hit A1 that they use a lot, so they get a lot of poisons, whereas the Harvest Jacks have more HP anyway, and they sometimes steal your shield, and they do two single target abilities, so they tend to get less poisons. Yeah. So bonkers. As HD said, he says, you need Hydra key RNG. Yes, you do. <laughs> but it's more fun than Hydra, so I actually did it. So that was your turn that just propped off there. That would be it. Yeah. Uh, that one. And then basically you got, again, same, go on to the boss here. So at this point, you've taken one turn in this run, but in your cleanest run, you didn't take any turns. Exactly. And then we get to the boss... See, now you'll see the cycle I'm referring to when you get to the boss. So on the first thing, he'll do two attacks, you'll go. Your shield needs to be small enough so that in those first two attacks, he clears it and does the second hit to provoke you. So right. One hit needs to break, second hit, provoke. Because he'll only do the second hit if you don't have a shield. So he has Got to it. break it in those two hits. So you have to get your HP level to the right place that the shield's not too big. Exactly. Which so is why it's about you're just rocking up there with the level 12 gear. and <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's about balancing the HP and the defense so you hit that sweet spot. Yeah. Because I do this. I mean, I, I wonder even what... I, I can't check it right now. I wonder what my um, number of turns is. Probably more because I bring people in to nuke the waves and then I just let Euros do his thing. But I haven't built like a, a Euros to do it this way. I've built them to try and do it as quick as possible. And and that's how I'd originally built my Uros, and you end up you'll take loads of turns because mm. he'll just be such a tanky unit. Yeah. And, and it's funny, that's... like a lot of a lot of these speed runs, I'm rebuilding my champions worse to get yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, download this other last one. Right, let me show the the first couple then that we've spoken about. So that we see over and over. Okay, so talk us through then where, where we got here. So you've got 12 turns. Let's watch it. 12 turns on Nether Spider, which is ranked 6th in the game. Is that, yeah, so five people got better than that. Only yeah. one other person is even equal. If you... I, I, could, I could have done 11. You'll see in the run why 11 would have been possible. Because I don't clear all oh, the okay. debuffs. I don't clear all the... <laughs> The, the buffs off. Um, ugh. I don't clear the, the revive on death buff off one of these Kutraxes. Ah. If I remember correct. Or oh, that. We had one, no, yeah, happened. one tiny one. amount of health left. Because I, I, I have um, 98% crit <laughs> on this Lurus oh, for really? the speed run. Yeah, because I had to do a glove swap to get him fast enough to be faster than the rest of the team. So he so didn't this is where crit. You, this is where you put heal reduction on, and basically you're using the Geomancer reflect damage for all of your damage. So you're doing AoE hits so that you're forcing people to attack you, mm. and then Geo's just doing all the work. Yeah, or Geo and Brogni, actually. Yeah, and Brogni's not doing too much, but he's just helping us stay alive. Yeah. between him and uh, him and um, Vogoff. So like the best, the fastest teams um, won't. So there's two things that I had to do that, that other teams won't. I had to bring in Brogni to strip the revive on deaths um, from the Kutraxas. So I had yeah. to rerun wave one and two until uh, Brogni would proc the refresh accessory to be oh, able really? to do strip on wave one, strip on wave two. What are other people using for that? Uh, other people were using a foley. You just block revive. Who cares whether ah, the tracks okay. have revive yeah. on death? So other people would use an anethway or a foley. And that's how you, you save two turns right there. And then because I have Brogni going fastest, what the really fast people will do is they'll have like a Crisk or two Crisks, have big shields and yeah. not waste that turn when I enter the boss where Brogni's putting a shield on. Sure. They save that turn by having that as a as a passive. 
So you've got double crisp for the fastest. He's done it in four turns. That's nuts, isn't it? He's basically yeah, so a plus four Foley just nuking through the waves. <laughs> exactly. With a reset just... um with reset accessories, I take it. So he just yeah, does it twice. Foley, exactly. Foley would have refresh on him. Refresh, I mean, yeah. So he does his A three, A three wave two, then you get enough shielding from two crisps, probably one in a shield set even to give you massive shields. Yeah. Foley goes what well, like A one or whatever on the boss, Geomancer, HP Burn Weaken, Venomage, AoE, Heal Reduction, and then you have two Crisks to do AoE A ones. And you're just proccing all the um the passives on Geo. So basically Venomage is only in here because she's got an AoE heal reduction. It's what? the combination of the heal reduction on the main boss, because you only need a single target heal reduction, but it hits all the enemies. Yeah, so you're instantly yeah. proccing a round of counterattacks. So what's and... Teela do? What does Teela do? Has she got an AoE heal reduction as well? Or... Yeah, same thing. She does the same thing. Okay. But Venomage is best in class for it because of the 15% damage reduction you take. Yeah. So it's just easier to stay alive. I'm just I'm just interested to see what some other people are doing a little bit further down because actually at the top you've all pretty much got the same team. Go a little bit further down and like this team here is going on here. So I guess they become unkillable teams doing the same idea. Yeah. So yeah. actually my Geomancer was in swift parry. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. As a just in case. Yeah, it did come in clutch a couple of times. I don't think it was in the fastest run I did, but in some of the other ones, it, yeah, it, it did. Um, oh, anyway, look, I mean, some people, some people saying it's cheesy strats. It kind of is cheesy strats, but you've got to think of the strats. Cheesy strats don't become cheesy strats until they've been thought of, and um, it's pretty impressive stuff. Like I know it's not the sort of thing that everybody wants to get involved in, but if you do push yourself to do it. As a free to player, and anyone who's doing this, there won't be many that have spent low amounts of money. It'll be people with everything and all of the resources and everything to do it. So to be in the top 10 of the people that are trying to do this as a free to player, it's pretty bloody impressive. Um, Thank you. Fair enough. Less than 2,000 turns to to do doom tower i'll tell you what i'm gonna do like i haven't tried whatsoever to bring low turns let's see what my count is so i haven't beaten any beaten up any secret rooms yet for this um, what have i got a couple of days <laughs> i need to do that um, <laughs> you should get on <laughs> <laughs> secret rooms are like hydra to me it's like when's the last possible minute to do it that's when i'm gonna do it um yeah so it's taken me six thousand three hundred and forty four turns to do it so over three times your number of turns. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a lovely video for you about Venomage soloing that secret room if you, <laughs> if you need help. Oh, really? It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's any that I really struggle with. It's just about just doing them. I literally, I'll, I'll, there'll be one day where I'm like, right, just go through and do it. Um, <laughs> still, yeah, particularly, honestly, particularly um, it's this, very impressive. Thank you. Particularly in this Doom Tower, like the secret rooms are not too bad in Doom Tower 1. I think they're, they're harder in DT2 and DT3. Yeah. My, my worst thing, honestly, for any stuff like this, is when I decide to do a new series of videos and then half of my champions are just not geared. It's like my soul is naked again. He was my best champion five minutes ago. <laughs> now he's totally naked. My thunder I've had to rebuild this morning. Like I'm just like, oh, 